Hi, I'm Mae Smith from the University of Wyoming Extension. I get a lot of questions from livestock producers, landowners, and prospective buyers asking how many cows, horses, sheep, etc. can a piece of land support? Well, this is an excellent question. We all want to be good stewards of the land, and in order to do so, we want to be able to use the appropriate amount of forage. Okay, here's the pretest. How many pounds per acre of forage does this piece of land right here produce? What about an area like this? There are several methods for estimating forage production. One is an ocular estimate where a trained person goes out and visually estimates the forage production on a piece of land. It takes a trained eye, but some people are very good at this. I don't know about you, but I'm not quite confident enough to go out and visually estimate forage production. But there are several other methods of estimating forage production. One of these is the clip and weigh method. The clip and weigh method involves clipping a very small subset of your pasture. To start this, determine what size hoop or quadrat you want to use. It doesn't really matter the size you use as long as you can do the conversion. The conversions are a lot easier if you have a standard size. For example, I have here a quarter meter square hoop that I'm going to use. Next, randomly place the hoop in the pasture and clip the forage in the hoop, collecting it into a bag. Be sure to get as much of the forage as possible, but not the woody material or last year's production. Clip only the grasses that are rooted within the hoop. Collecting the forage in a paper bag works best so that it can dry. Clip and bag several areas of the pasture so that you can take an average. Here is a review of the steps for the clip and weigh method. Construct or obtain your hooper quadrat. Randomly place the hoop in pasture and clip grass inside the hoop. Let the bag dry and weigh contents and then convert to pounds per acre or your desired unit of measure. After your bag has dried, tear your scale, then place the clipped bag of grass onto your scale to get the weight of the grass that's in the bag. Make sure to use grams. The production for this area is 88 grams per quarter meter squared. Here is the hoop sizes and conversion table. For a quarter meter square hoop that weighs 88 grams, multiply that by 35.7 and this gives you 3,142 pounds per acre or about 1.6 tons per acre. Is that what you guessed? The clip and weigh method seems a bit tedious and you'd like to try another method, you can use a grazing stick. A grazing stick looks much like a yardstick but has special measurements on the side. Scientists clipped and weighed a lot of different grasses and determined the height-weight relationship of the height of the grass. To use a grazing stick, place one end into the grass, determine the highest level of the grasses and what number that corresponds to on the grazing stick. Do this several times so you get a good average. You can then use this average number to determine your production with the height-weight relationship curves. The grazing stick works best in high production meadows and hay fields. If you're close to a computer with an internet connection, you can use the last method for determining forage production. Web Soil Survey is a great online tool. It can give you a lot of information about a piece of land including forage production and plant species. The methods we've used today for estimating forage production are the ocular method, clip and weigh, the grazing stick, and web soil survey. Hopefully this has been helpful to you to help estimate your forage production on your land. This will give you the supply side so that you can in turn figure out your demand side and the amount of forage that you'll be able to harvest from your land. This has been Mae Smith from the University of Wyoming Extension.